Hey guys, Audrey here with Flawless Crested Geckos, and I am coming at you with another diamond series this week. I hope you guys are excited because in this one, I'm going to give you a little tour down the rabbit hole of how color can really, really affect the outcome of your offspring and your pairings. So stay tuned and let's dive in. And in this particular one, we're going to discuss how the color wheel can really affect your offspring and why you would need to take into account color theory when you're pairing your geckos. We're very well known for our high whites, obviously our high coverage high whites and high creams. And we're also well known for you know our reds and our high white reds that's one thing that we really focused on in the beginnings of flawless and then obviously you guys some of you guys know us from exanthics and empty backs and things like that if you're new here welcome to our channel every thursday it's typically every thursday it is pretty much every thursday we like to drop videos called diamond series and those diamond series basically highlight a gecko that we are either holding back thinking about you know holding back um have been using as a breeder or they definitely are going to be breeders for us and we highlight those to kind of explain to you guys how we go about choosing them how we go about seeing what's in them that we could add into our future projects and why we would choose certain geckos over others. So this particular um, diamond series this week is actually going to be a tad bit different from the geckos that you usually see. Uh, of course we love high white so there's definitely a component of high white in this female that we're going to highlight this this particular week um she comes from our pairing of truth and omg truth we procured from tara lee's crusties several years back and omg is in in-house production so that being said without further ado i'm going to show you this girl and she has no name so you'll have to help us come up with a name so here she is hey guys flawless crusty geckos here will audra and we're here to tell you about our patreon yes going through tough times you got to know that flawless is always going to have your back if you go over to patreon.com slash flawless crested geckos you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our patreon fifty dollars a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash flawless crested gecko. And it's join our family. Yes. And there she is. Okay. Immediately, you guys can see that she is absolutely a stunner. Obviously, she's got some gorgeous crests, but really and truthfully, the reason why we were keeping her is because you see how she is absolutely paper white. You can see in her little jawline there and also on her side walls there, she is paper white, but you can see that that is popping out from under this absolutely gorgeous yellow. Okay, and this is a bright and sunny yellow. It is not our typical creamy yellow that we do. But let me show you the other side wall. And you can just see how gorgeous that white is. It is paper white. All right. She is a beautiful, beautiful girl. You can see how her dorsal, she has lots of the yellow dotted in and there, and then also this high white 
as she comes down to her tail, which is an absolutely beautiful tail. It is paper, paper white. Um, there you go. And then, of course, she's got a lot of the paper white up in her, her little neck area. So, as you can see, she's a mover and a groover. She's not trying to stay very still. But she is gorgeous. So now that you've seen her, let's go over why color theory and knowing your color will will help and why it has helped us decide to keep her as a whole back and put her into our future product projects. Products. I keep trying to say products and it's projects. Come on, get it together, woman. So anyway. Um, color wheel is very important. You need to get yourself familiarized as a breeder. You are an artist too. So you need to get yourself familiarized with the color wheel. You need to understand what primary colors are, secondary colors are, and tertiary colors are, and how they work together and how they can contrast with each other. Now, a lot of you guys know that I was a police officer, but probably you don't know quite, or not as many of you know, that I have you know, done hair for years and years and years as well. I have loved being a hairstylist. Now, it is not what, what makes me money anymore, but I still love to be, I still love being a hairstylist. So I don't ever see myself not wanting to be involved in the hair industry. But I tell you that to tell you that I, or to explain to you how I know that color theory is extremely important anytime you're trying to get certain light reflex you're trying to get certain colors to come out on different canvases um, rather than using you know pen and paper or paint and paper I used for years hair people and color right so the same thing goes for when you're dealing with geckos I'm gonna use an example from my hairstyle in years Whenever you're trying to show the intricacies of someone's hair, like a particular style, for instance, an updo for a wedding or whatever, a photo shoot, typically, if it's a very intricate, you know, updo, there's a lot of swirls, a lot of curls, what you want to do is use somebody with light, light hair. If it's more of a sleek, subtle, um, very, you know, calm looking hairstyle one that's more i guess you would call it like a, a chignon or a, a low bun something that's very smooth a lot of times we choose darker haired girls because and the reason why we do that is because all about color all right sun the sun or the light in general okay color is simply how we perceive it through our lens right it's prismatic so when it pops, when the light pops actually onto something, whether it be a flower, whether it be a uh, somebody's hair, whether it be a gecko, what happens is it's reflecting back to you whatever color you're perceiving. So with that, if I'm going to have an updo that's got a lot of intricate curls and rolls, I'm gonna use that blonde haired girl because what happens is it reflects the most light. So you'll be able to see a lot of the movement in this style. With a darker haired girl, you know, it absorbs more light. So what happens is when it absorbs more light, you don't get quite as much reflex, so you don't see all the different movements in the actual hair. You see it as one piece. And so I'm gonna now transfer that to the gecko side of things. Whenever you're looking to try to reflect the most light in a high white animal, what you a lot of time what you can do is you can add a yellow in there. Because what happens is it again reflects the most light. And that's proven when I just showed you that girl. She is extremely yellow. She is sunny yellow, but she has white underneath. So what happens is when that yellow hits that white, it absolutely reflects color. And that white is becomes even more paper white. It clarifies things. So <laughs> that's why a lot of times you'll see that when you're trying to get a really, really bright, bright red, 
you add some yellow to it rather than adding more red into it because a lot of times when you add more red, what happens is you muddy the color and you brown it out. That's a term that we actually use in hairstyling. It's called browning out when you add too much pigment to something. So you, on the flip side, if you put something lighter and brighter in there like the yellow, it will give you this beautiful coppery bright red that you're looking for. Okay, so there are reasons to the madness <laughs> there. Sometimes it's kind of chaotic and sometimes we're like, yeah, let's see how that goes. But the majority of the time we do have a plan for exactly why we pair certain animals to certain things. And with this particular girl, we kept her back because of her white and because of the yellow in her that we can plug her back into more high white and possibly get more paper white <laughs> coming out of her. So we're excited to see the offspring. Now I will say that, you know, there's always outliers and they're all, they're with animals, you're always dealing with other genes at play. And especially with crested geckos, we're in such a glorious time in crested geckos because we're finding more and more um, genes that are being isolated and popping out for us and being able to use those things. But just at the you know, at the elementary level of understanding how the colors of the geckos that you're pairing together actually work um, to produce whatever offspring you're looking for is absolutely paramount to your success going forward if you're really looking for something in particular. Um, so I hope that helped you guys. Um, you know, if you enjoy this type of content and look forward to more, comment down below, subscribe for us, hit those like buttons, you know, the notification bells, because a lot of times um, I'm getting that, you know, our followers don't actually see our videos come through the feed, so they'd have to go looking for them. And if you're like me, you're extremely busy. And if it doesn't roll through your feed, a lot of times you're not you're not going to go looking for it just because and then you know just because not because you don't necessarily want to see that person or that that particular youtuber it's just because you literally have only only have time for certain things and and so anyway just make sure you're uh hitting all the buttons and the bells and all the follows and stuff like that we sure do appreciate the views and we look forward to seeing you guys again soon so this is Audra, Flawless Crested Echoes, and I'm out. Bye.